Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Alright, today we're going to talk about Sing Chiu specifically because I think a lot of players are sleeping on this guy and the same happened with me as well actually. When I first got him, I was like, ah, I don't care about him at all. But then I decided to build him and I've been using him more and more and he is freaking amazing. Alright, so now if you are free to play, should you build Sing Chiu? Criteria wise, he is mostly used as a support, alright? He's not going to be a main DPS, so he's there to complement a few other units. Now, in terms of the water right now, if you're looking at the Hydro type, we currently only have Barbara, Mona, and Xingqiu, right? So there's not much options, so he excels a lot because of that. So if you have Barbara, I think everybody can definitely have one Barbara to help with heal and stuff, but this guy, he helps a lot with his damage. Alright, let's go through with his skills first because I think that's where a lot of players struggle to understand what it does. Okay, if you look at his second skill, alright, this is the elemental skill, the E. Okay, so he performs hydro damage. So it will surround your character and it will do a couple of things, alright? It will basically help you to reduce the amount of damage taken. It increases your resistance to interruption and it scales off based upon Sing Chu's hydro damage bonus, alright? Sing Chu's Hydro Damage Bonus will be converted to additional damage reduction for the Rain Swords. So if you can, you want to ideally stack. Okay, so now you can see I have these three swords surrounding me, right? Pretty cool. So let me see if I can showcase to you guys how this thing works. Okay, let me try and disturb these guys. I'm gonna use E, okay, deal some damage. Alright, gonna let this guy hit me. So you saw he hit me and that reduces my sword it removes one sword, right? So now I have two swords left. Right now, hit me one more time, so all the swords are used up. So notice when the entire duration ends, or when all the swords use up, what happens is I got some heal. So Sing Chu can be used as a healer as well. So he has one talent right here, okay? Which is Hydropathic. Alright, so this will unlock when you reach the character ascension phase 1. Alright, so this is something that's pretty cool. Alright, notice what happens here is if the rain sword expires or shattered, so regenerates current character's HP based on 6% of Sing Chu's max HP. So that's pretty cool, right? So he benefits from having high hydro damage. He benefits from having some HP alongside with him, okay, which will help with this healing. But obviously, uh, for me, I don't really use my Sing Chu as a healer. But if you want to, you actually can. You just need to stack HP. Just like how Barbara works. Alright, you can use this to stack a bunch of HP. So notice when I'm close to this guy, it seems to apply Hydro upon him. Alright, the Hydro element. Which is pretty cool. Alright, so keep in mind you are not invulnerable to damage. Okay, so you still receive damage. It's just that it helps you to reduce the damage taken. It's not, it's not same like Noel's shield, where you don't receive a damage at all, and that shield will basically absorb everything. So for this particular skill right here, all right, it only reduces the damage taken, and also increases the character's resistance to interruption. So that can help a lot if you're trying to do a lot of charge attack, for example. Okay, so this can definitely be very, very good. Now, right now you can see my Sing Chu is not, does not have any constellation, which is why I only have three swords. But if you can get him up to constellation one, that will increase the number of rain swords by one. Okay, so that can actually help. And constellation two, I would say, is where he basically just excels at being super strong because this particular skill extends the duration of her Q by three seconds. All right, this is pretty OP. So let's talk about Sing Chu's Q for a bit. So what happens when I perform a Q, right? So let's say I use this, boom, this is my Q. So notice now I basically have rain swords again, and if I hit them, can you see some swords raining down on the enemy? So this is the hydro, extra hydro damage that you will get for this skill. Now this is what makes Sing Chu an amazing support because you can swap out to anyone and you can still get the ability off. Okay, so Sing Chu's Q, alright, so this will basically do a couple of things. It will create maximum number of rain swords that you have available depending on your constellation. Okay, so normal attacks will trigger consecutive sword rain attacks dealing hydro damage so the more hydro damage you have okay the better it is so for sing Chu, ideally you want to go for hydro damage bonus for the goblet equipments for the artifacts right because 
that's the only way for you to get hydro damage. So there's no other like set bonuses that can give hydro damage. So that is going to be very very good on Sing Chu. Our rain swords will remain at the maximum number throughout the ability duration, which is pretty cool. Now both this E and this Q, both Sing Chu's ability will stay on the battlefield even if you swap out to a different character, which makes Sing Chu an awesome support. Let me show an example. So let's say I use my Q right here, right? I'm gonna use my Q, and then I will swap to Klee, for example. So when I swap to Klee, notice uh, the rain sword is now raining on the enemy. Okay, so this is pretty cool. This makes my Klee way stronger because it's gonna create vaporize. Can you guys see a number of vaporize? Fire plus water will give vaporize. Okay, so that increases my Klee's damage significantly. All right, by just having Sing Chu as a supporter, that helps in battle. Now, of course, like I mentioned, if your Sing Chu can get uh, the second constellation it's going to be pretty OP because it increases the duration by 3 seconds. I do think this makes a significant difference and also decreases the hydro resistance of enemies hit by sword rain attacks by 15%. So it sort of like indirectly boosts your damage of the Q by 15% because it decreases their resistance, right? To hydro element. So this is pretty OP. Uh, but Sing Chu is still really, really good even without any constellation and I've been using him to a lot of success. Now, Constellation 3 doesn't do really much, all right? So increased level of Sword Rain Cutter by 3. So Constellation 4 damage is further increased by 50% for the E skill, okay? Which is crazy if you have a specific equipment, which is the Sacrificial Sword. And then Constellation 5 basically increase the ability by 3 skill level. And last one, you basically have more energy recharge, all right? 3 energy when the Sword Rain hits enemies, which is pretty OP. So all in all, I would say Sing Chu is a pretty fun character to work with. And in terms of the equipment, this is what I currently have on him. Okay, so I have Sacrificial Sword. Now this is the best in slot, PIS for Sing Chu. Like I don't think there's any sword that comes close to this. Okay, so why is this sword very good? Number one, this makes Sing Chu to be able to spam his E. Right, if he damage an opponent with an elemental skill, obviously you have a 40% chance to basically reactivate the E skill again and can only occur once every 30 seconds, but that's more than enough. Okay, and then it also gives energy recharge, which is pretty freaking awesome because Sing Chu really needs a lot of energy recharge to be able to spam the E constantly. Just spam the E and all the way, constantly spamming the E. So ideally, that's how you want to use him. All right, so let's see if I can show you guys one example. So let's use E. All right, can you see? The Sacrificial Sword activated and I can use one more. And look at how much energy that recharge. I can use my Q again. I can literally use my Q again. So I'm going to use my Q. I'm going to hit this guy a couple of times. Stop hiding in there. Okay. So just hit him a couple of times. So ideally when you use Q uh, as a support Sing Chu, you want to swap out to a different character and try to perform some sort of elemental reaction. And then I can use my E again. Alright, you can see it's Freaking awesome. Uh, and look, I almost... Look, I have my Q again. I literally just used E twice. And I now have the ability to use my Q again. So this build, I actually enjoy. Alright, so let's talk about... Besides the weapon, also... The artifacts that I'm using is to give energy recharge, all right? It's all in on energy recharge. Now, ideally, end game, I would say your Sing Chu, you want to farm this particular set, all right? The Noblis Oblige set is very good on Sing Chu because his purpose right there is to activate Q, all right? His elemental burst, and this will increase that particular damage by 20%. And also, when he activates this, increases all party members' attack by 20% for 12 seconds, which is pretty insane. All right, every time you activate your Q, you're going to be able to increase your own elemental burst damage by 20% and everyone's attack in the party by 20%. Pretty insane. So ideally, I would want to farm this in the end game. But for now, this is what I have on him. Now, I know my gears are pretty bad, so this doesn't represent the damage that I do. As you can see, this is the only upgraded artifact right here, the goblet. All right, the rest, I literally have them at plus zero. Alright, this gives HP, this gives attack, alright, so this gives uh, Flower of Life gives HP, this gives crit rate, 
Okay, so but the gist of building Sing Chu, in my opinion, I would say energy recharge is the most important component. So ideally you want to go for attack percent if you can and try to get energy recharge. And HP is actually pretty good as well. This one is pretty decent. I have hydro damage bonus, I have attack, I have crit rate, HP, like I mentioned, because of his talent, this particular skill, okay, which regenerates current character's HP based on 6% of Sing Chu's max HP. So the more HP you stack on this guy, the more he'll be able to heal. And he might actually be a decent healer as well, like a decent secondary healer. Now before we end the video, my Sing Chu is not yet, you know, at the max ability. So right now you can see there's one talent that I have not yet unlocked, which is this particular one. And this is pretty OP, all right? This will give your Sing Chu a gain of 20% hydro damage bonus. Okay, so we're gonna go fight the water boss. Hopefully I can solo it well. And then we're gonna upgrade Sing Chu from that point. Got some nice long hair and you know that she's a bad chick All the boys stare, can't help it, it's a habit Clothes that she wears, short skirt and a jacket I just wanna get her all alone on a mattress I just wanna have it, I just gotta have it Rumors all around say her body is fantastic All natural, not a piece of fur is plastic Head to her toes, yeah they say that she's a lash Yeah the whispers all around say she has a reputation Don't believe it till I I see it, so I want a demonstration And I've always learned it better With a hands-on education So I need a private session If you get what I am saying And they say that she's not easy No, she's really complicated But that only makes it better And it's got me so fixated And I'm not the type to wait around I've never hesitated But she's got me Okay, so I'm done So we got all the materials right here Let's go We're gonna ascend Sing Chu Finally got uh, all of these materials this is going to cost a lot of mora, but this should be worth it because in that I unlock the new talent Blitz, a uh, mist raindrops, and also increase my ba base attack as well. Now this is going to increase my damage significantly for sure. Let me see if I can find an enemy to test. Oh, you are here, are you? Oh, pretty good. So ideally, when you swap out, oh my god, the rain sword is doing double the damage now. That is pretty OP. So yeah, you can see Sing Chu pairs well with a lot of characters. He pairs well with a lot of characters. The way you use Sing Chu is how you use Xiang Ling, for example. Alright, you use your E, you use your Q, right? And then you swap out to your main DPS and then you attack from that point. So same goes for Sing Chu, right? The same thing, you use your E, you use your Q, and of course if you have your E activating the cooldown again from the Sacrificial Sword, you use that again. And then you swap out to your main DPS, and that way you can deal elemental reaction and deal a lot of combos. Alright, let's try and fight this guy. So hopefully, I can briefly show you guys how we can use this guy effectively. Okay. Hopefully we can, you know, beat this giant dude. Come on. Okay. Du -du -du -du. So Kli is my main DPS, so now Sing Chu has the ability. So we're gonna use this. And then try to vaporize combo. And then use that to make me invisible for a while. Ow! Rain sword, let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Swap to Sing Chu, use the ability again. Avoid. Use this Q again. Can you see how fast the Q came out? Yo, that Q is insane, man. Like, yeah, if you go for energy recharge build, which I do think you won't go wrong with energy recharge build. Like, ideally, you want to use your Q ability as often as possible, right? So definitely don't feel bad if your Sing Chu is not doing much damage. And he's not meant to, alright? He's there to basically complement your other main damage dealer in that case to try and deal a ton of damage with, with them, right? So yeah, energy recharge is something that you really need on this guy because he his skills are pretty energy hungry and also I, I've heard a lot of players actually compare Sing Chu to Mona like he is actually comparable to Mona at Constellation 3 so if you have him somehow at somehow Constellation 2 or 3 definitely don't sleep on him 
Alright, he's very very good. He can boost your main DPS to give them extra damage. Alright, if you are using any uh, pyro character like Xiangling for example, Cleek, Diluc, or even if you use Razor or something like a uh, Keqing as your main DPS, Xingqiu will help. Alright, that Electro Charge or whatever or Vaporize combo is going to be insane. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think of Xingqiu. Do you guys think he's strong? Do you guys think he's weak? You guys don't care about him? Leave it in the comments below. As always, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.